Hello. Happy Sunday evening. Um, in the last last episode, uh, we were just too busy chatting, right? We are just talking about random shit, right? Um, so yeah, now we will kind of focus, okay? We'll focus and um, we we'll do the math, okay? Um. Because, uh, yeah, we better focus and do the math, okay? Um, yeah, I've been to a party, okay, from my friend, how kind of house party, okay? But, uh, so I cracked this joke. They, you know, they know I'm Korean, so I, they asked me, like, have you eaten dogs? I said, yes. Okay, what does, what, what do they taste like? I said. And I said, oh, dogs, yeah, they taste like your best friend. <laughs> they taste like my best friend. Yeah, it's a dog eating dog. Okay, oh, is it pretty? Oh, yeah. let me take a picture of this shit before I erase, okay? So, yeah, dogs, they taste like your best friend, okay? It's, I didn't like the taste when I have eaten dogs, okay? So, in Korea. Okay, so yeah, Americans, yeah, they 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 like that joke. Okay, they get it. Yeah, dogs, man's best friend. Yeah, that's how dogs taste like. Okay, it's so yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Okay, so. Uh, they love that joke, okay? Yeah, dogs, yeah, they taste like your best friend, okay? Because, oh, whatever. Americans are so nice, they're so tolerant, generous, you know, me. Guy like me. Have friends. You know, Americans, yeah, they're nice people, okay? So don't hate Americans, okay? We are just like you. Okay, we just eking out the living, working hard, hard working people, okay? Don't hate Americans, okay? Nah. Okay, oh my God. so many drinks that I want to drink now. Alright, so, where are we? Yeah, P.O. van, right? We want to find some, we're taking a shot at finding some closed form. So all we have now is recursive definition, right? That's not closed form formula, okay? So we're kind of taking a shot at it, okay? So there's our mountain function. We just re rewrite it, okay? Uh, boy. We renamed some variable, didn't we? Yeah, I gotta look at some other whiteboards, okay? Because uh, we, I remember we renamed some variables. Um, yeah, the, right there. Okay. We had to, right? Because too many, too many ends. Too many ends, okay, so we have to rename the variable back there. We have what B. I like this blue, it's very powerful blue. BMT, it's like Subway sandwich, right? BMT, BLT, whatever. I love Subways. Sigma BQT K from zero. And you have B R T plus T K M T minus one and B one B M one is one, right? Okay, so we got that definition down. 
now we have what pn right n m n if you expand that and it becomes n m n minus one plus one okay so that's why we had to change out this we used to have this mountain function right but too many n's okay so yeah we had to change out to b instead okay so we don't want to get confused it's already confusing we don't, we don't want to get rid of all sorts of com confusions okay so okay plantain oh boy plantain vodka very naughty naughty and naughty i like it proteinous proteinous oh, so much protein in there i like it it doesn't taste like your best friend okay it tastes like plantain banana whatever <laughs> Uh, whatever it tastes good oh it, it naughty it tastes like peanuts okay so mm. so good so p of n okay we're gonna uh explore this okay i want to use different color okay so uh so we have this okay yeah i think this black is just fine okay so p of n okay p p is this partition function okay we are going after partition function we want to find some closed form of that because nobody ever done it okay so we are, we are ambitious okay so it's one plus sigma or here okay n n minus one okay that's n is b n minus one is one is t okay so that's what we are doing because k from zero to uh n q n minus one okay n r n minus one plus n k minus k okay m n minus 2 okay we got it yeah we are defining p partition function in terms of m which is more general function okay so yeah it's restricted partition function but it's more general concept okay and we are defining p in terms of m function restricted partition function and we defined m this mountain function this restricted partition function in a recursive fashion okay let's do one more okay so this guy is b and this guy is t because i, I want to see where it where it's going okay because uh just out of curiosity we do one more one more okay so this guy is what one plus uh k from zero to uh, sigma uh n q n minus one that stays the same but we want to express this guy with this okay to go one level lower okay so b t this guy's whole thing is b and this guy's t okay so we have uh sigma uh, we have k here so we better use different index right let's use l l from zero to b q t okay b q t it's a mess i don't know B, Q, T. We're just changing M to Q. Okay, that's all we're doing. 
and BRT again you're changing this guy this big M with R okay so you have uh, uh, R T You better use this as a N minus one K, okay? Because there's some pattern here. Uh, M minus two, minus one. What is it? M minus three, right? Okay. Because we want to find out closed form, okay? So uh, to do that, we need to find some pattern by making a lot of examples. And we are, previously we were more physical level, right? Physical labor. We deal with numbers, auditions. Now we are in a metaphysical level. In a physical level, we found a pattern. That's how we came up with this, this formula. Okay? Now, we are not dealing with numbers anymore. We are dealing with letters. We are more metaphysical level now. Now, but we can still make a lot of example, metaphysical example, uh, to get in a hyper-metaphysical level. Mathematical generalization, okay? That's how it works, okay? I'm educating you how mathematics get developed so that you can be a mathematician, okay? So, very unique opportunity. I don't think there has any, there have been any lecture like this. It's a first in time, okay? So, lucky you, okay? Lucky you. Okay, let's open up the window, right? So, I mean, just curtain. Kind of chilly right now. Okay. <coughs> I mean, it's not Halo. I'm not Angel, okay? I'm not no prophet. I'm a Virgo man. I'm evil. I'm more like Satan, right? Oh, boy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a good devil, okay? So. Sorry. Yeah, we are starting to see some pattern here, okay? You have M minus 1 here. Now it's M minus 2. M minus 2. Okay? We're going to express this as M minus 1 times K, okay? So. Uh, Okay, and you have n minus one k over there, but now you have n minus two k, and you have n minus two here, and now you have n minus three. Uh, so I, I guess uh, we can generalize this. Okay, and it's being very recursive. Like you have back there, you have n r n minus one plus n minus one k. And you have that here, down down here. Like picture in a picture kind of, okay? So, can you read all this? Kinda, huh? Yeah, it's very recursive structure, like spiraling, just snail's shell, okay? Um, I mean, because definition, it's very recursive definition, right? Recurrence formula, so. Let's do one more, okay? So, so that we recognize some definite pattern. We, we are getting there, okay? We are almost there. 
just because it's funny, okay? It's like picture, you know, picture. But I read these two articles about partition function. Yeah, it's very complex, okay? So this, at least we are not using any pi or Euler's number or some Dirichlet equation or hyperbolic sine, sine hyperbolic. They were using that. We are not using any of that, okay? It's just recurs recursion. I mean, they're, they're beautiful formula that the journal articles about partition function, two of them I read. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, but here, yeah, it's probably not as pretty, but it's kind of ugly. It's got more ghetto, more basic, okay? Because I don't know too much mathematics, okay? So. N Q N, okay. Uh, N minus one, okay. So K from zero, okay. Sigma, yeah, they will stay the same, okay. L from zero to N R N minus one. I better start using this black pen because that's sharper. Black pen, is very sharp. Okay, all right, uh, plus n k minus 1, I'm sorry, k n minus 1, q n minus 2, okay, so that's a sigma, okay. And then we're gonna express this guy with another sigma. Okay, so uh, we make some room. B M T. All right. So this entire thing is B and then M T. Okay. So oh boy, we have sigma, right? L M N. O P Q R we are running our alphabet S let's use S okay so S from zero all we gotta do is to switch M to uh, Q okay that's all we gotta do I know it's a lot but yeah it's, we are doing mathematics so yeah. math is a mess I know This whole thing is B, okay? So, so N, R, N minus one plus K, N minus one. This is the whole thing is the base of this remainder function, okay? So, so big R, N minus two plus k k times n minus 2 okay q n minus 3 okay that's the op upstairs of the sigma, okay? I, I know it's crazy, right? Yeah, whatever. You're kind of crazy too, so. <laughs> what's the what's the surprise? Yeah, I, we do crazy shit like this. I mean, come on. But it's controlled madness, all right? Controlled madness, mathematics. It's good craziness. It's good madness. Okay? Uh, we are not hurting ourselves or hurting anybody else. We are just geeks and nerds playing with numbers. Now what? Uh, BRT, okay? BRT. This is B and this is T. We are changing just M to R. That's all we are doing, okay? Just like here, we change M to Q, right? Yeah, just... 
monkey business, right? It's just repetitive. N R N minus one plus K N minus one. We change it to R. Well, then we are not changing anything, right? Because R is R is R. Whatever. Well, now this guy is R B, so I guess we just change something. Okay. You big R. What a mess. We change this to what R and then you have M minus three, right? So we ran out of space, so uh we go to downstairs. T times K. Okay, so what is T? M minus three. Okay, so uh, plus. Okay, K times M minus three. Big M. T minus one. M minus four. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so that's that. Now we look for some pattern, okay? So we are getting very close, okay? So. I want you to see that neon neon light, Alaska neon light, and also I want to see that in in this screen because as I'm recording this, yeah, I see myself. So it's like mirror reflection. I want to see that beautiful Alaskan neon light back there. So, yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah, birch tree, yeah, beautiful. So how many times do we have to do this? Because we have PN, right? So N is a finite positive integer natural number, right? So we are not gonna go do this like forever because we already have N minus two, N minus three, you know, blah, 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 right? Uh, what was the very first one? Did we have something like N minus one? Yeah, we have M minus one right here, right? We have N and then you have N minus one, right? M minus two, M minus three, M minus next it will be M minus four. So yeah, it's decreasing, right? So it's not gonna go indefinitely because N is a finite number. Okay. N is a positive integer, natural number. So it has some bound we are decreasing that's why we have hope that uh, we can find some finite form of this partition function that has never been done before okay Because we're very ambitious, okay? Look at me, I'm running for president, okay? <laughs> I Oilo, Ramanujan, Hardy, they didn't find this. They tried, but they, they couldn't, okay? But we are, we are ambitious, okay? We, we think we are better than they are. All of them combined, this mathematics giant.
professional mathematicians. Uy Lord, Hari Ramanujan, are you kidding me? But we are ambitious, we think we can be, do better. All of them combined, I think we are better than they are. Combined, okay, all this century of, centuries of mathematicians, we think we are better than they are, okay, so. David versus Goliathans. David Dans versus Goliath Dans. Okay. Many giant Goliaths. We think we can be, we can be we are better than they are. Okay. Co combined. All of them combined. Hundreds, thousands of mathematicians, giants. Yeah. We, I think we we think we are better than they are, okay? So yeah. Ugh. So you have triple sigma, right? Here you have double sigma, single sigma, okay, so... <clears throat> it's, this is not gonna go on forever, okay? Because it will stop at one point. Why? Because n... n is decreasing, like you have n minus 2, n minus 3, it will get to the bottom when n, be n minus 3, n minus 4, it will become 1 at some point. Because we are decreasing. N is a fixed, finite, positive integer, natural number, okay? N could be 100. Then how many times it will run? Yeah, 99 times. When N, N minus 99, 100 minus 99 finally becomes 1, right? We have this bottom line right here. Okay, because it's a recursive definition. Okay? Yeah, we have finite, this bottom line. So, yeah, that's why there, there's nothing to worry about. We will find that close form of partition function. Okay, so. <clears throat> because it will go on like this. When this, we can call this like n minus. A, n minus a, because you, have, you are using so many different alphabetical characters, right? So yeah, we never used a, so yeah, n minus a, okay? When a becomes n minus 1, so n minus, n minus 1 is 1, right? So the, the, that's when we're going to reach this bottom, bottom line, okay? This initial condition for this rec recursive definition, okay? I mean, I, I know if you don't know any mathematics, I'm sorry, okay, uh, but this is very advanced stuff, so I, I know it's too fast, maybe, if you don't know mathematics, okay, but yeah, you can catch up, okay, it's about sequence, algebraic sequence, okay, all right, yeah, recursive definition, recurrence, okay, mathematical induction, Inductive logic, whatever. Okay, so yeah, you can catch up. Okay, I just look it up in the, your cell phone. Right? That's what I do sometimes, many times. So, so yeah, we will find that finite form, closed form, formula for partition function. Yeah, we will have to invent some notation or convention. Okay. Uh, we'll have to invent some notational convention along the way because uh, we need some new brand new tools to express this in closed form but it is feasible why because n is a finite number and we are decre it's decreasing okay so we'll call this like n minus a okay so all we gotta do is some to f come up with a brand new way to express this in a nice, neat manner. Okay, just like tensor calculus, right? Yeah, it's all about notation or convention. Half of it, tensor calculus is so a brand new way to express brand new ideas. 
like Adam and God, God created all this. It was Adam's job to name them, all these creatures, creatures, all these animals and plants. That's what we are doing. Notational convention, right? What we gotta do is, yeah, we discovered what God created a long time ago. We are miners, gold miners, diamond miners. We just discover what God created. And we are just naming new things. Giving it a new name. I love these old street names. Drive, Street, Avenue. You have what? Uh, Parks Avenue. You have some what? Pleasant Street, Happiness Road, beautiful road names, okay, so, yeah. We take a break, okay, so, okay. Why don't you think about a way to formulate this, okay, so, we take five, okay? Narrow road, baby. Alright, take five, okay?
Yeah, give me one second. Uh, don't got something bad in my eye. I mean, it never ceases. It never ceases to surprise me that I have friends, not just in America, all over the world, like Facebook friends. Yeah, like in the Middle East, Africa, Asia. Guy like me, South America. Guy like me have friends. I mean, can you believe that shit? People are nice. They're so charitable. To befriend garbage like me, it's never cease to amaze me. And something got in my eye. Oh, what is it? I think I got it out. I think. So it really never ceases to amaze me that guy like me have friends. Okay, you know, I need some water. I, let me I, rinse my eye with some water. Okay. Oh boy. So annoying. Okay. Yeah, people are nice. Okay, so all around the world yeah i had good friends in korea as i grew up as a child and i grew up as a young adult in america yeah i had friends i still do okay anyway we gotta come up with some notational convention okay to express to express this in a finite form closed form okay because there's no infinity here, okay? And and it's not infinity, okay? Not yet. Yeah, you can what take this n to infinity and find some big O notation. What is a quadratic? From what I heard, it's not that fast growing function, okay? From what I remember, it's like square root of whatever. It's not that fast growing function. That that's from what I remember. I read many articles about partition function, okay, so. Yeah, Hari Ramanujan Radimacha formula, that's just approximation, okay, they use square root, they use a sign, hyperbolic sign, E, Euler's number, and pi, which is very fancy. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful, 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 I, I, I appreciate that a lot, okay, but we are not doing any of that shit because I don't know much about mathematics, okay? So, I'm a kind of simple guy. We are doing it easy way. More creative. We are giving it a different taste, twist, different take on this, different perspective, okay? So. <laughs> We gotta find some pattern, okay? So, uh. so the left base of Q used to be N, okay? And the next is R N N minus one. And I gotta rewrite this, okay? So K. K times n minus one, okay. Which is this, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's this. N R n minus one, n minus one k, okay. Next, we got n R n minus one, k n minus one. Okay, and then that's part of R, and you have n minus two.
plus k times n minus 2. Okay, so we have to figure out a very smart way to express this because it's a finite, it's not infinite. Okay, so it's a, there's, there should be a way to express this partition function in a closed form formula. <coughs> we just have to be very inventive, creative. Okay, because yeah, it's recursive, there's this spiraling down this snail snail shell kind of recursion like golden ratio or whatever okay so we just have to be very inventive very creative to express this in a closed form but we believe it is possible okay we just need to create something new okay discover something new come up with a brand new way to express this okay it's not gonna be that easy Right now it's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, Sunday night. Yeah, I gotta go back to work tomorrow, so tomorrow's Monday, you know. So. Well, we are making a good progress, okay? So, so yeah, n minus 2, you have n, n, you have n, then n minus 1, we'll call it n minus a. Okay, so a go from zero because you just have n, right? A, okay, brand new constant, okay? So a it was zero and then one and a is two, a is three, blah blah blah, and it goes until a is equal to n minus one because n minus n minus one is one. When a is n minus 1, we got it. Okay, it's the bottom line, initial condition of this recursive definition. Okay, so a go from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, so yeah, we, we will find that formula. Okay, because it's not, I don't think it will be too difficult. We just need to come up with a brand new notational convention. Okay. It's finite form, so it's closed form formula for partition function, which has never been done before. Okay, all they have achieved so far that we appreciate is approximation. Okay, Hardy, Ramanujan, Radmacher, approximation using some complex variable like i. <laughs> they used everything. They used i, imaginary number, and they used what? Pi, e hyperbolic sine function oh my goodness square root they used everything man we appreciate their effort it's just that they're not as smart as we are we appreciate them appreciate them okay hardy ramanujan Euler, but at the same time we laugh at them okay because we found something better okay we are going to we're gonna all right Haha, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but we are not there yet, though. <sighs> but we learn from them, too, right? So, yeah, they are our teachers, predecessors. Oilo, Hadi, Ramanujan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. They're like our parents, metaphysical, mathematical parents. Yeah, let's honor our parents, okay? But you want to be better than your parents, though. You honor your parents, but Jesus said, yeah. Because one of his disciples, oh, Mr. Jesus, yeah, I will follow you, but let me go to this funeral of my dad, or let me say goodbye, farewell to my dad, my father. Jesus said, no, you come with me now, it's now or never. Jesus said, yeah, if you love your parents more than you love me, then you cannot go to heaven. That's what Jesus said. Okay. Motherfucker, right? <laughs> Such an asshole. But that's what he said, okay? I, I'm just conveying to you what Bible is. 
You don't hear this from your pastors, do you? Your preachers, they're not going to tell you this. It's in Bible, okay? Yeah. Oh, let me pay tribute. Let me go to funeral. Jesus said, Yeah, funeral. Yeah, they're for the dead people. Let the dead people do the funeral, okay? Yeah, you come with me. Oh, let me say goodbye to my father. If you, you know, if you look back like that, you, you cannot come with me, okay? You disqualify. Okay? It's because uh, we don't need people who look back. And if you love your parents more than you love me, Mr. Jesus, you cannot go to heaven. The way we humanologists in interpret that is this, because okay, humanological interpretation of those episodes of Jesus, kind of bullshitting on people's parents is this, okay, humanological interpretation. You want to be better than your parents, okay. Your parents may be fat, obese. Your parents may be tattooed and pierced. You should reject those bad habits of your parents. It will hurt their feelings, your parents' feelings, but you want to be better than your parents. And actually, that's what your parents want you to be. Okay? If your parents are doing something bad, like obesity, sugar fetism, marijuana, tattoo piercism, even gayism, you have to reject that. Okay? So, yeah, you should love the righteousness, justice, truth, more than you love your parents. That's how we interpret that Jesus is teaching. Okay, we believe Jesus was in the Son of God. I, 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 I personally think so. Okay, I do believe Jesus was Son of God. I think it's something else. Totally. My two cents, okay. I confessing my religion, okay. I I do think Jesus is Son of God, okay. Motherfucking Son of God, okay. So I think so. I I think it's Son of God, okay. I I do think so. As far as I know, because here's something else. Jesus is teaching his ethical lessons. There's nothing like it, okay. So. Just do that, okay. All right. So M, M minus 2, M minus 3, M minus 4, right? You start with N, then M minus 1, M minus 2, M minus 3, M minus 4, okay? So yeah, it is decreasing, okay? So if you go all the way down to what? N minus, N minus N, I'm N minus 1, and N minus parenthesis, N minus 1 is 1, okay? So, uh... It is finite. It's not infinite. So we will have closed form formula for partition function, which has never been done before. Okay, so. <sighs> How do we get there? I have no idea. <laughs> do you? I don't have a clue. Okay, so.
Maybe we should take some different approach, okay? Uh, because we got this formula by expanding this, right? And n is n n, right? Then we expanded this, okay? Uh, maybe that's what we should. We should we should take some attempt uh, to expand this this sigma. Okay, because when k is zero, this guy is zero out, right? And that's how we got this formula, right? Yeah, n is equal to n, p, n, m, n, okay, k from zero to what? n, q, n, which is what? One, okay? So k from zero to one, n r n is what zero right and then uh yeah that's we are how we got this formula so maybe we will have to expand this sigma uh, because we are at a loss i'm at, i'm at loss so uh i gotta take some different angle different approach to this okay so uh maybe we have to and let's take an attempt to expand this sigma and get rid, get rid of that sigma, okay? Because n divided by n minus 1, what is it? Yeah, quotient is 1, right? Remainder, 1. 5 divided by 4, what's the quotient? 1. What's the remainder? 1. So we can simplify this shit. <coughs> okay. That's our clue. Okay. 10 divided by 9, what's the quotient? One. What's the remainder? One. Maybe this complex formula is just paper tiger. We we'll take a break, okay, and we'll switch out the board, okay. I'll take a nice picture of this. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We're going somewhere, okay, so. Yeah, Shangri-La. Nirvana What the that um What's that uh, Led Zeppelin saying about um This is Indian Pakistan kind of place um Carpet, you know, they're famous for carpet manufacture hand hand by hand um Led Zeppelin, they sang about this place, Pakistan, India. Uh. Let me look it up, okay? So, Led Zeppelin, they sang about this place. I've never been there, but they, they say it's a very beautiful place, okay? So, Kashmir, right? I, I'm not singing this web page. So it didn't come up, but yeah, Kashmir, Kashmir. This Kashmir cat, Kashmir carpet, Kashmir. Did I say it right? Yeah, it didn't come up in this web page, but I can't remember. Yeah, cashmere, cashmere. 
Kashmir. I heard this very beautiful place, okay. Somewhere between Pakistan and India, okay, so. <coughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna go home. Kashmir, paradise, Shangri-La, Shangri-La, okay, whatever. We get there, okay, so. I'll take you there, okay, so. After a break, <laughs> take a break, okay. Ah, boy. We switch out the board. Let me take nice picture of this. Okay, because we're making progress here. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, the Nirvana, Shangri-La, Kashmir. I'll take you there. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, what? The land of promise, Canaan. Canaan, land of promise, the heaven, okay, seventh heaven, whatever. Yeah, we get there. Okay, you know. Well, one more picture. Okay, enough for me. We'll take a break, okay? Yeah, don't nobody go nowhere, okay? Just stay tuned. Take a break, okay? Don't nobody go nowhere.
Okay, it's 11 o'clock now. Yeah, I took a long nap, so I'm not sleepy. Okay, so switch out the board, just like promised, and then we see what's what. Okay, so what board should I erase now? Yeah, I guess I can, you can erase this guy. The handsome board, black frame and white board, yeah. You're up next, okay, so. Eraser, okay, so. Yeah. It's nothing important, really. You can erase it. Okay. All right. So. I just copy it down, okay, so can you see this? Yeah, you can. PN is what? One plus Sigma K from zero to N, Q, N minus 1, we know that's 1, okay? And N, R, N minus 1, we know that's 1, right? Plus N minus 1, K. Big M, N minus 2, okay? What we gotta do is expand this shit, okay? So, just what? Hey, just two terms, right? Zero to one, okay. So, when is zero? One plus K is equal to zero, okay? One M, M minus two. When K is equal to one, okay, so plus N, M, N minus two, okay? Which is what? How many ways there are to express one with numbers summation of numbers which is n minus two or less there's only one okay yeah how many ways are there to express one in terms of some non-negative numbers non-negative integers natural numbers how many ways are there one <laughs> one is one. One plus zero, okay. One plus zero plus zero, yeah. But we ignore that shit, okay. So this is uh, uh I think we are finding some pattern here, okay. So this is equal to uh wh what one plus one, yeah. Two plus n m n minus two. Does it ring a bell? Yeah. Which is equal to what? 1 plus n, m, n minus 1. Okay, so. <coughs> I guess we found a formula here. Okay, because if you like 3 plus n, m, n minus 3, blah, 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 right? We're not quite there yet, but I think we're getting there, okay, so. We're gonna have to do one more, okay, so when, I mean, take you to the next step, okay, so. We're gonna have to erase another whiteboard, okay, so. Let me write this down in pencil and paper, okay, because this is very significant, okay, uh, yeah. Serious business. We go old school, okay? Pencil and paper. Yeah, it's mechanical pencil. It's not like wooden pencil because I don't want to buy this pencil sharpener, man. I, don't know. I do have it. It's not like electrical, but manual pencil sharpener. I, I do have it somewhere there. I think so.
So the potential formula is uh, Pn, okay, is equal to, we call it A, right? So A plus N, M, uh, N minus A, okay, so that's our potential formula, okay, so we're gonna make some more example, okay, to see if this holds true when A is equal to 3. Okay, we'll just do one more example, okay? Um, because deductive logic is beautiful, it's smart, but we are not that smart, so we have to just resort to induction, inductive logic, okay? Pattern recognition, okay? So, we are not gods or son of gods or daughter of gods or prophet or, you know, we're just underdogs. You just collect the dirt and dust on the dog. Okay, so. All right, let's make some example, okay? We'll do one more when A is equal to three, okay? So, let's see what's what, okay? So, all right, we're gonna have to switch out this board. <coughs> okay? Right, who's next? You. Yeah, I can erase this. All right. <coughs> oh boy. I have no problem erasing this shit, okay? So, I think it's something I'll be rolled today. Yeah, we gotta move on, all right, so. Nostalgia, yeah, sure, whatever. So, next step. P, this blue is not very strong. How about this green? It's not very strong either. I have some strong pen with a lot of juice in there. Yeah, this one's good. P of N is equal to what? In this, really. Ah! <sighs> My goodness. K from zero to n q n minus one. We know that's one, right? And then you have sigma, what, L? Yeah, L from zero. You have R n minus, N R n minus one. Okay, we know that's one. Okay, so. One plus K times N minus one, okay? Then what? Q n minus 2 and you have uh, down there n r n minus 1 we know that's 1 okay so plus k n minus 1 okay R n minus two plus k n minus two. Okay, so we have that <coughs> m <coughs> n minus three. Okay. <coughs> We gotta expand this shit, okay, so. But somewhere down there, we wanted to find this, this is three, okay. We want to prove this is equal to three plus n, m, n minus three, okay. That's our objective, so, but we don't know yet, so. This is conjecture, hypothesis, okay, so. <coughs> Let's see. 
It's a challenge, right? I love challenges, don't you? <sighs> uh, I just don't drink. <sighs> we prove this thing uh, when A is equal to 2 and 1. We did, okay. Oh, there are only two terms, right? Uh, so it's easy, easier than we think, right? Okay, when k is zero, Pens are falling, whatever. So one plus, can you see? Yeah, you can, you can, okay. How about this red? How, this, how strong is this red? When K is equal to zero, right? Oh, yeah, yeah this red is kind of strong, okay. So maybe I should use this red instead of this light blue. By the way, yeah, let's take a break, okay? <coughs> this guy, Brazilian guy, the originator of Bossa Nova. Like, what? What is Bossa Nova? In Brazilian Portuguese, it means new wave. So, it goes like this. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun. La, da, 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 da. La ra 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 la ra 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 da 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 ra ra fantastic it's magical I was dance I tried to invent some dancing that would go with that jazzy yeah it's Latin American Brazilian jazz that's what bossa nova is you have it's a Brazilian jazz okay yeah, I just invent some dancing style that would go with that. Getting low, get low, get low, get humble. Maybe I show one, show you one day. But you have to elect me for president in twenty twenty November. Okay, then I will, I will show you all my dance. Okay, you wanna see my dancing style? Yeah, go ahead, vote for me. Okay, I show you. All. Okay. So. <clears throat> Because that's all, that's all I'm gonna do in the White House. <laughs> I'll be just drinking vodka all day, every day, 24 7, and I'll be just dancing, filming. <sighs> Whatever, just kidding. Or not. <laughs> you, do you still want me to be your president? <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna delegate. Yeah, yeah, you do that, you do that. Me, uh, I just relax. Okay, I just drink vodka all day, every day. That's the only reason I'm running for president, so that nobody can complain to me when I'm drinking vodka every day, all day. Yeah. All right, K is zero, right? So this is what K is zero. Okay, so sigma. One Q and minus two. Okay, so how many ways are there to express one in terms of some number? Yeah, it's just one, right? So yeah, L from zero to one, right? And uh, K is zero, so it's a one R N minus two. How many ways are there to? Oh, okay, you divide one by some number. What's the remainder? One. Okay. You divide one by some number, it could be two, three. Yeah, it's always one, right? I mean, unless this n minus two is one, then it's zero, but we don't care about that because uh, we, by definition, okay, this, uh, when it's one, then it's one, okay? So 
Yeah, this guy is probably is one or zero. Yeah. One step at a time, okay? We, we'll just do approximation, okay? Just let's not be too picky, okay? We are brain, still in the brainstorming range, brainstorming stage, okay? So, okay, just this guy is one, okay? So, one plus k is zero. So, we have one m, uh, m minus three, okay? All right? Now, when k is equal to 1, <coughs> k is equal to 1, so n minus 1 plus 1, that's n, okay? n q, n minus 2. I don't know. I don't know what that shit is. K is 1, okay, so N minus 1, yes, it's N, R, N minus 2. K is 1, okay, so plus N minus 2, okay? Okay. Okay, how many ways are there to express 1 in terms of some number 1, right? So L go from 0 to 1, okay, so this guy becomes 2, 1 plus 2, 3, okay? Now we, all we gotta, all we have left is to prove this guy is equal to this guy, okay, so. Is this guy equal to this guy is equal to this guy? I don't know. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe not. All right. So, who knows? Maybe I made some mistake. But we got the three, right? Okay. So, n divided by n minus 2, alright? Let's make some example, alright? How about 4 divided by 2, okay? What a quotient? 2. What a remainder? 0. And you have uh, here zero, zero, right? How many ways are there to express zero in terms of some number? Yeah, just one, right? So we have this, okay, so uh, zero expressed by summation of numbers of n or less is one, okay? Okay? One express, how many ways are there to express one in terms of summation of other numbers is one, okay? Now, we have this n divided by n minus 2, okay? So, four divided by two, quotient two, remainder zero. How about five divided by three, quotient one, Remainder 2. 6 divided by 4. Quotient 1. Remainder 2. 8 divided by 6. Quotient 1. Remainder 2. Okay, so it seems this quotient tend to be just 1 and remainder tend to be 2. Okay? Yeah, there are some exceptions, but for big numbers, looks like uh, very big numbers, okay? And quotient tend to be 1, and remainder tend to be 2. Okay, like 10 divided by 8, right? Quotient is 1, remainder 2, right? So for big numbers, yeah, they tend to be 1 and 2, okay? So 
let's just go along with that okay so l from 0 to quotient 1 remainder yeah you can, i mean for big number there are exceptions for smaller numbers but uh this tend to be uh two okay two plus n minus two that's just n right n m n minus three okay so which is uh actually three plus two times n m n minus three okay so yeah this they're not the same okay Uh, that's fine why because it's still follow this pattern right uh, I, I hope so Not really, it's not following the pattern. <sighs> it's not quite working. <laughs> it's not as easy as we thought. <coughs> Enter a bitch. Uh. It's more difficult than we thought, okay? So, but we are not gonna give up, okay? Because I think we are getting somewhere, okay? I think we we are, we are getting somewhere, okay? So, uh, I think we are go going somewhere, okay? So. We, let's not give up yet. All right. So. I think we need to take a step back, okay, and do some basics, okay, fundamentals, all right, so, foundation, we need some groundwork, groundwork, okay, we gotta find out, we gotta learn more about this quotient function and remainder function, okay, right, and quotient n minus c, and remainder n minus c, okay, so, we gotta study this quotient function and remainder function uh, because uh, that's the roadblock right here. It's a bottleneck. This, uh, we have to learn more about quotient and remainder function. Okay, n divided by n minus c. When c is like zero, one, two, three, because that's where it's going, right? Um, yeah, we gotta step back. 
okay, and study more about quotient and remainder. So just division, division. You, you have one number, you divide by other, another number, you have quotient and remainder, right? So we will have to step back and study this further, okay? Because otherwise we are not going anywhere, okay? So, okay. I don't like this guy too, okay? Because it's messing up with our pattern, hypothetical pattern. Why do you have to be two, man? Come on. I have to get the fuck out of here. We don't want this too, okay? So, uh. I'm kind of tempted to uh, test out this hypothetical formula where P of n is equal to what? Hypothetically, okay. A plus n, m, n minus a, okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a partition function for table in the web online. It's not Wikipedia, it's some other website, okay. So, I'd like to test this out, okay, but uh, I'm tempted to do that, okay. Yeah, we got some roadblock here, okay. Uh, God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Confucius, Buddha, Lao Tzu, Euler, Ramanujan, Hari, they're all dead, right? Is God dead? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Friedrich Nietzsche said, yeah, God is God died. We killed him. Okay, yeah, he said that. But I think God is alive. Okay. Jesus, Confucius, Socrates, Plato, Prophet Muhammad, Allah, I think they are all up there, okay, looking at us. Probably laughing at us, okay. Butterfuckers, right? Gauss, Euler, Newton, Isaac Newton, Einstein, Albert Einstein. Maybe they are laughing at us, okay? What? Dirichlet, Carnot, what? What are the mathematicians? Yeah, Galois, Abel, Cantor. Dirac, a physicist, yeah, Pauling, Linus Pauling, whatever, okay. Maybe they're Fermi, Anglico Fermi, Fermi, you know, physicist, chemist, okay. Maybe they're laughing on us, okay. Maybe they're laughing in heaven. Or maybe they're just enjoying, laughing with us, enjoying this drama, okay. Maybe the drama kings and drama queens, whatever. <sighs> we're trying, okay? We're, we're, we're trying. So hypothetical, if this is the formula, okay? So, um, but it can't be. Why? Because if you reduce this, 4 plus n minus n, m, m minus 4, okay? Because it reduced to what? n minus 1, n, m, okay. 
Yeah, I think this formula is wrong. It's way too simple. Okay, m minus one plus m n n minus parenthesis m minus one is what one. How many ways are there to express n in terms of one? This becomes what n, okay? N minus one plus one is n. So yeah, it can't be true. Okay, so this formula is wrong. Okay, so it's good that we caught this error. Okay, so yeah, it's wrong formula. Okay, uh, it's no. Pn is not equal to n. Come on. Nice try, but yeah, you no, know, it's, it's it's not that simple. So it goes like n n minus two. Okay, n n minus three, n n minus four, n n n q n q n minus five, six seven. So yeah, we cannot just ignore all this smaller number underdogs exceptions. Okay, because it adds up. Okay, so it's not as simple as we thought. Okay, so um, for bigger number, yeah, it goes like this, but uh, we cannot. You know the smaller numbers. Okay, are you following me? Yeah, if you know mathematics, maybe you are following me. Okay, but it's a brand new concept to me and probably to you, probably first time in the world. And we are not ready to tackle on this yet. But tomorrow, yeah, after taking a break. Yeah, we can give you some fresh perspective, okay? Yeah, we'll be ready tomorrow, okay? So let's just call it a day because I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, okay? We continue this tomorrow, okay? I gotta eat, I gotta sleep, okay? So, yeah, I, I brush my teeth. Okay. Alright, thank you. Good night, bye. See you tomorrow.